Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Always good to have you. And in continuing with the spirit of change makers, last week I introduced you to somebody, and now it's not just a beauty queen. In fact, I'm here to probably demystify that for you because I was also called out when I thought that all they do is be pretty, right? No, actually, no. They are real change makers. Uh, joining me is the 2011 Miss Uganda, former Miss Uganda, and now in a bid to be Mrs. World Uganda, Sylvia Namtevi. Alibai. Yes. <laughs> how are you? I'm good, Flav. How You're are you? You're good? Yes. Um, how is life? I mean, probably people never ask that question genuinely. They ask and <laughs> sweep by, how are you? Oh, do you want the real how are you? <laughs> the real oh, truth no. of how are you really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm fine. You're Thank good. God. Yes. I'll spare you the ears. <laughs> so I'm fine. Thank You're good. You. Yes. So you were Miss Uganda and now you're going, well, you're in a bit to be Mrs. World Uganda. Let me understand this. So... If you're the only contestant, quote-unquote, wouldn't you just be given the crown as Mrs. World um, Uganda? I'm already Mrs. World, World Uganda, Uganda, but yes. you just want to be Mrs. World. Yes, now I'm going to Mrs. World to, right. to win that. Yeah, I, I went through the vetting last year yes, for, yes. for the title of Mrs. Uganda. Okay. Yeah. So I was saying that people rarely think of beauty queens as change makers because they're thinking, no, she's, she's going to be pretty, go for interviews and that's it. Meanwhile, if you listen to every pageant, they actually ask you for a cause. Yes. What will you be doing? What was yours in your year? So in my year, I worked with a, a variety of causes, mm -hmm. but majorly was children living with disabilities. Oh. And most importantly, we started the campaign to eradicate jiggers from the Busoga region in 2012. We are the people that started that campaign. Really? Yeah. And that situation has really improved it today, has. 10 years later, as, as we speak. So I was down there in Busoga. You went? Yes. Washing uh, homes, cleaning them, mm. showing them how to take care and how to get rid of jigger infestations in the mm -hmm. family and all that. We kick-started that wow. uh, campaign. And today I continue uh, working mm. with children living with disabilities, single moms, and also educating um, uh, safe motherhood in mm. marginalized communities of Uganda. I wonder why you chose children with disabilities. Because um, even then you weren't a mom. <laughs> No, you know what? I, I've grown up uh, doing uh, these kind of things. It comes from church. My yes. dad is a, a pastor and we're one of those churches. I don't know if they still do it. They used to do village outreaches yes. where you go as a community and help another rural community. Mm. Since I was, I was born into it. So it's something I thought everyone does, actually. So when I went to Miss Uganda, it was nothing new yes. to, to me relating to other kids mm. that are underprivileged people that are underprivileged yeah. it came naturally to mm. me because from way back as a child we did it as a family mm. with my dad in church mm -hmm. yeah. wow that's great so um before mrs world uganda so you left uh, well you you handed over the crown i think that's how we should place it you handed over the crown what has um sylvia been up to in between till before right before mrs world I've been up to a lot of things. So uh, when I handed over the crown, I became a, a mentor in Miss Uganda, the organization, mm. as a judge, a regional judge. Uh, back then, I worked mm. in that position for two years, mm -hmm. after which I moved on to start my career, my life. Mm. Uh, I developed uh, strategic management and marketing concepts consultancy and then uh, went on to do my charities under mission wide love and all that that's when i started courting dating got married got a kid built my <sighs> my family <laughs> Then in 2018, Miss Uganda came to us under mm. Talent Africa because my husband runs an event company called Talent Africa. Yeah. I'm now a director there. And we took on Miss Uganda as a business partner to mm -hmm. bring back the pageant to its former glory. Yeah. That was 2018. So I was the project coordinator for that year, 2018 mm. and 2019, to make sure that the Ugandan queens shine again on the international mm. stage. I think something that we accomplished so um, from 2011 to now I'm a businesswoman I have my own charities now I have smile with sly I'm a mom I'm a wife mm. and a director <laughs> and talent you would Africa. ask someone say how do you do it but let me ask you uh, because I, w I like when you said when we got um, to be business partners with Miss Uganda we had to, to you know sort of give it back its glory yes the, you have been Miss Uganda before. The mentality of Ugandans towards pageantry and towards beauty queens is, 
I'd say brutal, mm -hmm. <laughs> misunderstood. What, in your experience, do we get wrong about pageantry? Uh, one thing you have to make uh, peace with, it's a niche. Mm -hmm. uh, pageantry has a niche. It's not for everyone. Yeah. That's, that's for a fact. Not everyone can understand. There are women who think uh, pageantry is exploiting a women, girls, then yeah. it's not your thing. There are men who think uh, it's for dumb, blonde, beautiful women, oh, then yeah. it's not your thing. It's really a niche. Pageantry is a niche you can't force on to mm. uh, everyone. And it's for people that understand it. Pageantry is, uh, you know, women, we are born beautiful. We are beautiful creatures. And that is how men come to admire and, and love us. Mm. So women thought, how can we use this beauty to the advantage of other women and the society mm. uh, we are in as a whole. And that's when pageantry comes in, mm. using a woman's uh, beautiful nature to impact society. Mm -hmm. Also to take away from the notion that uh, a woman is only beautiful, but mm. she has no voice. She has no intelligence. Yes. Pageantry has been very important in highlighting that a beautiful woman is actually very intelligent. That's what people do not realize, mm. but pageantry has been at the forefront of highlighting that women are not just beautiful makeup and high heels, but they have a brain and yep. they can speak and they can be leaders and impactful in society. Absolutely. You and I were having a conversation around Mrs. World, and I said to you, how can I help? And then in our conversation, I was, I was blown away with the fact that it will do a lot more. Like, you see what you just explained? That if anything, we scoff at pageantry, but it's the same platform helping to show us that women are not just the outlook, right? Yes. And we'll come back to talk about that whole thing of um, the feminine nature of women. But talk to us about what Mrs. World is, just for anybody who's only hearing it for the first time right now. So Mrs. World is a competition, a pageant tailored to a married woman mm -hmm. after you've become, if after your phase as a single beautiful woman, this is now another platform for a married woman to be a beauty queen and extend her uh, beauty queen roles and mm -hmm. that kind of thing. So it's tailored to married women. But it goes beyond um, just a pageant because as a married woman, you're not expected to act the same way as no. you were single. <laughs> <laughs> I know God, mo most no. people don't understand that, Flav. <laughs> you're saying no, but with the, the movement, you know, our women movement, mm. we are still sorting out. We all know there are things mm. we are still sorting out. But um, in a bigger picture, mm. when you get married and you decide to settle down, your life has advanced to the next level mm. of your life. So you, you're expected to leave your childish ways behind. Yes. You're now raising the next generation. You're now a wife to someone. Mm. You're now a leader in a, in a home. So Mrs. World caters to that kind of woman mm. and what her impact is. Are yeah. you a responsible woman? Have you turned out to be a responsible woman in society? Mm. Is society benefiting from you as a woman that has uh, oh. blossomed? Are you being impactful? Mm -hmm. Are you being touching other people's lives? So they seek to recognize that kind of woman. What kind of powers do you have? You're juggling family life and business. Yes. How do you do it? Can you share that part of your life with mm. other women aspiring to be mothers, to be wives, yes. advancing their lives in their femininity? Mm. So it's a whole uh, package of a, a beauty queen that mm -hmm. goes beyond the life of a young woman who is a miss. Mm. But now you're a missus Mrs. and are you useful uh, mm. to society? Uh, so this isn't for a beauty queen who is now married. This is open for anyone yes. who is married, just to be clear. To be clear, it is open to mm. anyone that is married. Because someone's yeah. going to say, you know what, I got married, I had babies, and my body isn't yet back to what it was. And they'd assume a beauty queen is supposed to be a certain way. And so what I'm hearing you say is that they're more concerned about your impact Yes. than they are about the, the image, sort of. That is very true. Yeah. That so so when we say true, Mrs. Yeah. World, this is world over, literally. Sort of like how Miss World is, mm -hmm. but the same global scale for Mrs. World. Yes. So you, because when you said last year, I was like, in a pandemic? <laughs> <laughs> how was that even? How did you get to go through that? 
Uh, so, you know, it was luck. I think if the pandemic didn't happen, I don't think I would be here with this title. Really? Yes, because normally they hold pageants, huge pageants around the world to select the winner. Mm. So with lockdowns, what they did was to scout uh, for people and have an online assessment of yes. the contenders. And that's how I got scouted. Uh, also, wait, you didn't apply? Uh, after that, I applied. Oh, right, right, right. Yes. yes. Because someone, a pageant scout, wrote to me and right. said, uh, there's this thing. You I fit think the role. And, exactly. Mm. Uh, these are the details. Get back to me. If you're interested, I, I did get back to him. And then he later too, took me to a website, mm. applied, and then I went into the Mrs. World competition. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's because of the lockdown that I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually here. So why, everything why, was vetted online. Yeah, vetted online. So so none of our Misses World Uganda have actually won that crown? No, never. Actually, I'm the <laughs> third person to represent yeah. Uganda. But for you, you're like, no, it will be me. <laughs> yes, obviously. I have never heard of anyone that goes into a competition to Not lose. Not to win. <laughs> yes, Sometimes we all go to do, win. You know, imposter syndrome, I don't belong here, I may not win, you never know, the other oh. people are better. People have that, and sometimes okay. it actually sort of blocks their mentality to actually win. Yeah. So when is the, the Mrs. World pageant? Uh, so it's going to be in August, uh, okay. end of August to September. Mm. Normally it's in December. Ah. So it's not virtual. I'll have to fly to mm -hmm. Sri Lanka. Yeah. Okay. So uh, before we get into the other conversation, how can people help? How can we support? How can we push you to be the best? What can we do? <laughs> so definitely I need the support of mm -hmm. my country. Yes. They are not going to crown someone that has <laughs> zero support. <laughs> so like your so, people don't like you. Yeah, no. <laughs> exactly. I really would love the mm. support of anyone that understands mm -hmm. pageantry, yeah. is into uh, um. the life of changing communities. I would love their support. Uh, just go like the Mrs. World page. My mm. profile is there. You can like the profile. You can say something nice. And the link later on will be uploaded for voting, for voting yeah, yeah. who yeah. the world thinks should be uh, hmm. Mrs. World. Yeah. So yeah, I would encourage Ugandans to support me. This is not yeah. just for Sylvia. It's yeah, for I wanted you to speak to me uh, to, to them about what you spoke to me about saying that if I win, it's not just about me. Mm -hmm. It will actually make such a difference. That's true. Mm. It's uh, literally nothing to do with me. <laughs> yeah. I, I carry the crown on behalf of mm. every woman and every girl. Mm. At the end of the day, if I do win and uh, you're handling over that crown to the next person, what have you done? Yes. How has your country benefited? Mm. How has your community benefited? You know, all those questions have to be answered. answered yeah. And then, of course, there is funding that comes to Uganda right. to help me further my causes that mm. I'm involved in. So all those will be lives uh, that I'll be impacting. Yeah. And that's something I would love for mm -hmm. a Ugandan. Right now, there are things I'm doing, but I mean, if I become Mrs. World, uh, people will benefit even more. Because you have access have to more funding where funds. you can actually touch more lives. E exactly. I have mm -hmm. more support. I have more coverage. Mm. And uh, the ripple effect goes mm, on. Absolutely. So it's something that is not just for me. Even mm. if you don't do it for me, do it for the people that mm -hmm. I support, for the yes. Ugandans that mm. benefit when Nam TV is a queen. Yes. Wow. Well said. So I want to ask, I mean, since we have a beauty queen here, I spoke to uh, the people, my viewers, about f being a, f you know, the feminine energy. You know that stereotype which says if a girl looks a certain way, then she's doing probably nothing. You know, yeah. she can't cook, she can't clean, she can't take care of the home. She can't, 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 can't. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> you know, Definitely. so I, I wonder how, because you're a mom, you're a wife, you're a beauty queen, you're doing all of these businesses, and somebody might be watching, and they've already judged you. <laughs> you know, they're looking at the screen, they're going like this. I can't even get lipstick on during the day. <laughs> How is she able to do that? Talk to us about balancing your femininity and appreciating that, but also all the responsibilities that a woman can carry with grace. Um, so, like I explained before, the world needs to know that a woman is more than just her hair and her makeup. <laughs> yes. And pageantry has been the best front to, to mm. show that out. Um, uh, years ago, women, when you looked good, you were considered dumb. We were yes. not given the space to appreciate our femininity, mm. as you're saying it, to appreciate who we are. Yeah. To advance as a woman, you had to be ugly, 
considered ugly. Mm. You know, you see Dressed everyone. Dressed like a guy. Yeah. <laughs> no makeup, mm. hair is shabby. Mm. All the girls who used to do sciences, PCB, a, 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 and all that. Do you remember? Well, we, but we love you guys. <laughs> we, we love you. Yeah, no, we, we love We, we love actually you. really love them. But yeah. they, are, they were pushed to, mm. to that image yeah. because they said pretty girls are dumb and yes. stupid. Pretty yes. girls cannot accomplish mm. anything. Or, or if you succeed and you're very intelligent, they're like, but she's beautiful. What? No one would believe it. <laughs> no, they will say you slept with someone. To get to where you are. To get to where you are. You can't be looking that yes, good, you I'm know. being smart. Yes, yeah, so we're out there to let people appreciate them being women. Mm -hmm. That women, this is, we are beautiful creatures. Yeah. We are flowers. By the end of the day, believe it or not, we are the backbones, the truth. Yes, 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 of society. True. We are the people behind the closed doors pulling the strings. Doing, yep. doing everything. Mm. And it's now time to come to the forefront, appreciate who we are, mm. and still accomplish the things we've been doing behind mm. the doors. Yeah. And it's time people saw that. You can be anything you want mm -hmm. to be. You can be a non-lipstick girl yeah. and do your thing. Mm. And you can be a wig loving, high sugar, yeah. lipstick loving, and still accomplish mm -hmm. the same equal thing. We come in different uh, diversity yes. and people need to know that. A woman is works. much more than her looks, no mm. matter how she looks, whether mm. she doesn't go into makeup and clothes. Yeah, and it's a choice. Or yeah. it's a choice. Mm. It's the same way. But mm. the world that put us in a box <laughs> yes. to succeed as a woman. We're still fighting through yeah. that box, though. We, you know, we're still in there. But Yes, so uh, thank God for people like you <laughs> yeah. who are willing to actually, you have experience and you're speaking on this yes. uh, issue. It's very powerful, Flavia. Mm. You may not know, but it's very you. powerful. You're mm. taking the lead into educating people. Mm. that I was there, mm. but now I'm embracing who yes. I am. And has it changed? Have you become oh, dumb? Oh, good Lord. <laughs> You're My even brain more cells have not degenerated. In <laughs> fact, yes, exactly. If anything, you are more I'm getting, um, my career is expanding even more in places I didn't think it would. My friendships are changing. The excitement about the day, life, you know what I mean? Yes. It's, I used to look at people who were saying that, oh, I had a nice outfit on and I didn't take a picture. I felt so bad. I'm like... <laughs> Why did you have a nice outfit? Where were you going? You know that person is saying, Oh, you're just so nice. Where are you going? Yeah, <laughs> you're like, you're right. I'm just chilling. How can you just chill? But if you were to talk to my viewers and say, Ladies, guys, it doesn't matter, what one or two life skills do you believe we all need? You understand? To sort of get us through life or thrive. I hate, I hate getting through life, just yes. getting through. <laughs> I hate surviving. No, yeah. no, 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 no. I love to thrive. Yeah. Great. What, what is essential that we should know or have? Uh, every woman, I'll talk to women, yes. knows, should know that you have the skill to multitask. Mm. I think as women, we are the greatest multitaskers. And that is the biggest advantage we have mm -hmm. as a woman. We are able to juggle a lot of things. Yes. It's insane. I can't <laughs> explain it to you how we do it. Yeah. But when I became a mom and then add on to all the things mm. that I had going and the machine kept going, <laughs> I was like, what is going on? Yes. <laughs> what is happening? Is it me? Is it me doing <laughs> all, all of this? I yeah. thought I would like go and, you know, hold back mm. and take a step back and do one thing at a time but as I grow and meet other women I find that we are the same we are all mm. multitaskers yes. having a lot of things in the air mm. juggling like 10 balls at the yes. same time and that's a skill not so many men have uh, sorry be, guys <laughs> no we are being honest so women we need to mm. capitalize on that mm. we need to take advantage of that skill yes. that we are able to carry on different things at mm. the same time. Yes. It's very important. It's not a burden. It is not a burden. It's it's, it is a very huge. Mm. That's what makes us survive. <laughs> you know, years yeah. of uh, and being underrepresented. Mm. Women, we have survived because of our ability to multitask. Mm. It's a survival tool, I think, that was given to us. Wow. The other thing, the second thing is uh, your ability to be open to new, new knowledge. Mm. You always have to be able to learn yes. new, new things. Have an open mind to have new things taught to you. Mm. Learn new skills, learn new ideas. If you had an opinion on something, have an open mind to, to change. It can change. Then, yes. Yeah. Don't be strong on what you know and what you have and what you've been <laughs> This is meant. how things this should how, be. Yes. <laughs> be open to learning. Yeah. Be open to new knowledge. Mm. Never stop seeking knowledge. Wow. 
I feel like you were talking to me because I used to be that person. Things are supposed to be a certain way, say that a certain way, done a certain way. In fact, I thought success, that the road to success, you know how they say, is one way. Yeah. Yet it could be a meandering road it and is. still arrive to where you're going. Yeah. It could be a short route, still arrive to True. where you're going. And so that thing where you start to hate people and say, oh, how come so-and-so did it in two years and I've been five years in, I'm still trying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everybody has their way you know that's true yours can take 10 yours can take two so that's powerful I, you're going to have to thank me for bringing her right <laughs> <laughs> any parting shot before i let you go love <laughs> uh i want to appreciate you flav for you. letting me speak to your uh fans mm. to your viewers and for being a woman that supports another woman mm. i was really really touched when you said sylvia what can i do mm. actually guys let me tell you <laughs> flav She's the one that <laughs> wrote to me and said, oh my God, Sly, you're on this thing. How can I help? Yeah. How can I do mm. this? How can I expose you to yeah. my fans? I found that really humbling. And this is what we mean, women supporting women, yeah. other women. You're living what you preach. Thank and you. there are very few people that, uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, that, that do that. Mm. But I think it shows an advancement as mm. uh, women and you're at the forefront of that. Mm. So I want to thank you for appreciate that. Them. And I want to appreciate everyone there watching me. Mm -hmm. Thank you for listening. Yeah. Hopefully I've said some <laughs> sense a little. Oh, you have made a <laughs> lot of sense. <laughs> the comment section will spread it out. What did you learn from her? Because I have plenty. But also I'm going to put the links to how you can get to her profile. Like you said, we can leave a comment here and there about it. And once the link is out to vote, I will definitely share. I will share. Thank so you. So you can vote, vote, and vote. Let it come home. Let her get the funding and the tools and the resources. If she's been making a difference without it, now imagine if she did. So this is our Mrs. World Uganda. Let's get her to just Mrs. World, period. Yes. Yes. <laughs> God willing. Woo! Yes. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>